They don't give you a lot of time to do that, do they? We should try using my axe for this fight. Also, I wonder if we can siphon uh, cold from him. We should be good too. We try getting good. Yep. Oh, I have not. I think that's pretty obvious. If I can siphon something. Out the axe early. I was like, I got this. Spoilers, he didn't have it. Oh, I thought he was going to stand back up. Whoops. This will pass. Yeah, I may have to turn my auto aim back on for this, man. Oh, my lord. The timing is just too tight. over here somewhere. Can I block that? Maybe I can just block that. Yeah! 
Oh god. Ask him a judge, you seen Bakasora. Look at up. Was Stray actually good? Stray was. Okay. Hmm, seems the travelers were told that by exploring the nine realms and beyond, they'd find a way into paradise. Told by whom? Someone calling. Was Stray good enough to get a bajillion nominations at the Game Awards? No, but they needed a token indie game that was cute, and I think that it fit the bill. <laughs> yeah. Um. Is a marked nearby enemies? Themselves, the blind guest. Odin. Sounds like the bastard, doesn't it? <clears throat> I'm surprised they took Stray over Tunic. Tunic did get some, uh, some, some stuff. Tunic, Tunic got a few hits, but I think Stray was more popular. Remember, the game wars are all about popularity. The game, the game wars are are a popular thing. They're not a. They're, they're what they think are going to get the biggest, the most eyes on the products and stuff. I mean, let's be let's be blunt. The game awards are a conveyor belt for advertisers. The point of them is to the point of the game awards is to make money. So it's gonna you know it, it wants it wants the stuff that's gonna have the most impact in its eyes. about grounded yeah I, I don't think grounded was much on any of them that I, I i didn't see them all but i didn't i don't know how much grounded was on there now we should actually hey girl well oh, grounded is incredible grounded didn't have a single nomination oh definitely need that that's terrible that's actually terrible grounded was was amazing it is amazing that is, that is absolutely crazy is there a best multiplayer like thing. Stay alert. Say they are close. We gotta stop their death. There is. Oh man, I wonder how it got bypassed for that. All the side stuff until MSQ. We're just doing the side stuff that I want to. Come on, get up, brother. Multiverse? Really? Sifu, while a great game that deserved an award, was put into the best fighting games list. Yeah. I'm not like totally adverse to that, but I will say that it's a little strange to put. Like you really, you'd have to really define what you mean by fighting game before that. I mean, Sifu is not a fighting game. It has, it has elements of fighting games, but it's not a fighting game. So, it's gonna be like super awkward if it wins that category, you know? It has fighting in it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And this, this is what I was talking about, where you have to like really determine how you identify a fighting game. It does have fighting in it, absolutely. And there's even combos that are very similar to like a fighting, you know, traditional fighting game. But at the same time, it's not when you say a fighting game. You do not mean to not what you not what they mean. So it's, it's kind of a weird, it's a weird situation. Yo! 
is for the best game designed primarily around head-to-head -head combat. Jotunheim. Odin was using the travelers hmm. to find a path into Jotunheim. Uh, that's, that's, uh... <laughs> they failed. It's a bit weird. Thankfully. Ooh. Oh, what was that spear attachment? Seems they traipsed across all of creation in the attempt. Still, I suppose that's all of the assassins. Perhaps we should let Beer go. See, the issue with something like that is that's like that's like taking RTS and being like this category. It's for any game that you use strategy and you can't pause. And it's like, okay, well, I guess you kind of do that in God of War. So sure, we'll call that an RTS because you know you gotta use some strategy in the fights. It's kind of like, I mean, you kind of do, but that's not what it means. <laughs> that's not quite what. It's not what art. It's not. Um. Hmm. Father. <laughs> so so Rocket League. Yeah, right exactly. Thing. Yeah. No. It'd be like calling us like a okay. soccer game, football. Excuse me. Um. Yeah, like it's. I don't know. It just it's just weird. It feels weird. Dude, this area has so much going on. It's insane. I can almost get to there. I can me take a boat to there or something. You've got a few crystals. Why not pay the pool a visit? Good. Oh. Wait over here. Another quest? Dude, there's like 15 quests in here. What do you remember of the day you died? Everything is hazy. I remember I was nervous. This brooch. I plan to propose to my beloved. Please, I beg you. Restore me. Restore my memory. Then I can tell you. Tell you all I know of that day. Your remains. Where are they? I was looking out upon the valley, then the ground, it shook. I tried to dodge a pillar as it collapsed. I must not have made it. Okay. Slice, get out of here, ghost. You don't got time for you. Sign says, I mean, how else do you do game awards? Should it be based on popularity? In addition, are you saying the jury is not qualified? Oh, Taurus 9 trying to stir up some drama. Look at you, Taurus. Um, no, first of all, uh, I, I would say that how else do you do game awards? Should it be based on popularity? Absolutely not. No, there's there's a completely different way to do game awards. And, and it's not that there is a right or wrong way. It's just understanding what type of award it is. There is the popularity category, which is what the game awards is, in which case the games are what most people are playing. Not necessarily what is best in any of this degree, just what most people are playing. For instance, if you went by popularity, the best game ever in the last 10 years would probably be Fortnite. I think a few people in this channel would disagree. Um, maybe a few people in the world. Uh, but you know, if we just went by raw popularity, then COD, Fortnite, and League of Legends are literally the best games ever made. So sometimes popularity is in Call of Duty and sometimes popularity is the best way to do. So to answer the first part of your question, how else do you do game awards? You do it by 
and, and uh, a group of people that are like a like a council or a a a panel and those people go through all the attributes and do not bring popularity into the equation and do it that way now do popular games are some are popular games sometimes really good games absolutely and of course like god of war uh horizon elden ring those are super popular games and they will probably do super well but at the same time um are you saying the jury is not qualified i am saying that there's absolutely no question that the jury for game awards went in there with the intention of picking games based on with with popularity being a major factor of their selections am i saying the jury's unqualified absolutely not no i'm just saying the type of show is slated towards popularity and of course the <coughs> jury is as well I, i'm fine father so if the yeah, sickness it's, is it's, it's all relative. swallowed a fly there's nothing uh. to do with qualification i don't even know who the jury is but it has nothing to do with qualification it has to do with what what they're what they're judging and how they're judging but yeah i mean if you look if you look at the the game award selections and stuff it is i'd i would say and i kid you not nine out of ten people in this channel could have probably nailed 80 to 90 percent of the selections in every category it's 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 a completely vanilla by the books these are what people like selections. Um, you know, there's no there's no curveballs, there's no small indie games no one's ever heard of that were really good, but but people didn't get to play. You know, it was it was it was you know all the the all the major categories are all the major games, um, that kind of stuff. You know, and that's and that's not a bad thing. It's just it's what that show is. What that show. Is. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Kratos. Off your back. That guy's level eight. But is Sifu a fighting game? I would not call Sifu a fighting game. I would not call Sifu a, a game in the fighting genre. Um, no, I, I would not. That's not something I would call. I would not call I would call it an action game with fighting game elements. But fighting fighting games, if you say it is a fighting game, that has a very specific connotation. Which is not <laughs> what Sifu is. And again, this is my opinion. Whatever. I mean it's there, it's at the end of the day, it's their award show and they can do whatever they want. So you're on fire, Kratos! I will pass! <laughs> I could have swear that we Oh, did we we must have burned the um berserker thing on a traveler. I guess so. Oh, Sifu's an incredible game. Absolutely. I think Sifu is fantastic. I love Sifu. Yeah, I, I I think it's I don't think it's a fighting game. But it's it's the, it's the same way. I don't think Sifu is a racing game. Um, it you know, but that's just, it's not fantastic. I love Sifu, dude. I Sifu, I eat it. Get the help! There we go. Left side! Yeah! 
God damn, dude. Yeah, we're gonna have to just do light attacks so we can dodge all that stuff. He doesn't seem impressed. He is not impressed. No, he is not impressed. This duder is not impressed. <laughs> Oh, I think I think my wolves weren't hitting the big guy. Whoops. The wolves kind of got to hit the big guy. Sometimes that coach should switch weapons more to abuse cooldowns. Yeah, no question. No question. Captain, what? I've died to some enemy 30 times and I died to that guy three times and you're like, you should take a break. You should, you should go take a break. No, kick his ass. <laughs> that was fine. Uh, what is this? Let me see if we can go to that uh, island with the frozen plane. But first. We're back at the plains. Looks a lot nicer with the water flowing again. Oh, this goes to the jungle area. Herador, thank you for the three months. I'm covered in ball frost. I am die left. Yeah. Oh, I see a burb. I see a burb. Burb that burb so hard. Can we land over here? Maybe. What's over there? Everywhere I go here is just stuff you gotta see. I think we should go check on the Raven Tree now. One time more to go. 
No doubt about the crystals it. respawn? Just I do not believe they do. Bolt in Midgard. Yet I have never been here. Curious. Can we land on this? Because I'd love to. I don't think we can. Nate says you're on fire, but you probably already knew that. I did. Thanks, Nate. So, sounds like things went well enough in Muspelheim. I mean, probably. Surtur didn't want Samar involved. So instead of them combining to form the Ragnarok beast, we did a workaround that left her out of it. Well, hopefully he still shows up at Ragnarok to plunge his sword into the heart of Asgard. And where is that exactly? Only Surtur knows. Hmm. We still haven't gotten that uh, chest up there. This is where the dragon was the first time, right? Let's take a look. Steal yourself. Oh god, if he knows. If he knows. If he knows. Your back. Face an itchy nose. I know, dude. I lost. I lost to an itchy nose. Oh no! 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 Oh! 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 Give me back on the axe. I never picked the axe. Stop it. I'm a spear boy now. I'm spear bro. Some rocks are not like the others. 